वेलकम टू दी चैप्टर डिफरेंट गेम्स एंड रूल This slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning objectives. By the end of this chapter, you will be able to know the importance of playing games. Know the rules of game kabaddi. explain the necessity of the rules list the names of a few indian sportsmen and sportswomen who brought name and fame to our country describe the various advantages of playing games we know hello children we all love playing games don't we We know that a few games are played inside the house whereas a few others are played outside the house. We also know that people have been playing games from the past many centuries. Do you know many changes have occurred in the way of playing games? Do you know that people nowadays have started playing different new games? Do you know that games which are played mostly in foreign countries have also gained popularity in our country? In this chapter, let us know about a few games, the importance of rules, the advantages of playing games, etc. in detail. We will now start our learning with the topic rules of the games. Children You might be playing various games like cricket, badminton, skipping, throw ball, football, koko, kabaddi, etc. every day with your friends. Before you start playing these games, you get divided into groups and discuss the method of playing these games, don't you? Hence, before playing any game, we need to know the rules of the games. Each game has certain rules which ought to be followed. In order to understand properly, let us know about the game kabaddi. Kabaddi is a team game. Two teams, each having 7 players in the court, compete with each other to get higher scores. Kabaddi is played with absolutely no equipment in a rectangular court, either outdoor or indoor observe the image on the screen you get to see the middle line the bulk line the bonus line and the end line let us now look at the rules of game kabaddi the player who says the count or kuta kabaddi kabaddi should touch the bulk line before he comes back otherwise he would be considered as out There is also a line called bonus line which can grant extra points for the player if he manages to touch it and return successfully. The count should start and stop at the middle line but it should be in one breath. If the count is stopped in between it is considered to be out. The players who cross the end lines or side lines are considered as out. Those players who are out should sit in the sitting box which would be outside the court. The players who are out can join the team whenever the team scores a point. The players should not grow nails. One should not apply oil to the body while playing. While playing especially girls they should not drag each other by holding hair or plates knowledge check attempt the following questions to check your understanding
Let us first perform an activity of identifying the lines on a Kabaddi code. Below is the Kabaddi code. Identify the names of the lines that are drawn on the code by dragging and dropping the respective name onto the respective box. Why do we need rules? Let us know the importance of rules. Till now, we got to know the rules of Kabaddi game. But have you ever wondered? To play any game properly, the players need to know the rules. The rules control the game. Just like in games, our school, home and other places also have certain rules and regulations. Let us go through some examples. Traffic rules are proposed to avoid accidents on the roads. We find the traffic signals at crossroads to avoid traffic jams. The red light prompts us to stop, the orange light prompts us to get ready and the green light prompts us to go forward. Have you heard zebra crossing any time? Zebra crossing is an area of road painted with broad white stripes where vehicles must stop if a pedestrian, that is a person walking rather than traveling in a vehicle, wishes to cross. Similarly, schools also have some rules and regulations. Some of them include all the students, teachers and the headmaster must attend the school assembly every morning. Classes should be conducted according to the timetable. Proper midday meals must be provided to the children according to the norms. Parents-teacher meeting must be conducted once in a month. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Can everybody play games? Let us find out. Can everyone play games? Yes, anyone can play games. Generally, girls play games like Ashta Chemma, Tokudu Billa, Tenny Koit, Vamana Gunta, whereas boys play cricket, volleyball, football, etc. In the olden days, only boys were allowed to play games whereas girls were forced to sit inside the home. However, the present generation has changed. Girls and boys are given equal status and girls are also allowed to play outside. In our country, there are many sportsmen and sportswomen who made our country proud with their achievements. Many women players won medals in various games at the national level in Asian Games, Commonwealth Games, Olympic Games, etc. Let us look at a few sportswomen who made us proud. Karnam Malishwari is an Indian weightlifter and Olympic award winner. Sania Mirja is an Indian professional tennis player currently ranked world number one in women's doubles. Saina Nehwal is an Indian badminton player who is currently ranked number one in the world. Maricom is a five-time world amateur Indian boxing champion. Mithali Raj was the captain of the Indian women's cricket team. Koneru Hampi is an Indian chess grandmaster. Now, we will look at a few sportsmen who made us proud. Gagan Narang is an Indian shooter in a rifle shooting. Vishwanathan Anand is an Indian chess grandmaster 
and a former world chess champion. Vijayendra Singh is an Indian professional boxer and a former amateur boxer. Leander Adrian Pace is an Indian professional tennis player. Knowledge Check Attempt the following questions to check your understanding. Here we will know what is sportsman spirit in brief. We all love to play games. In any game we play, winning and losing is mandatory as only one team or person can win, whereas the other teams or persons are losers. Generally, people get disappointed when they lose the game. But winning and losing are not important. Developing good sporting skills, winning temperament, sportsman spirit, patience, etc. are most important. Sportsman spirit is accepting victory and defeat equally. Playing games is every child's right. Let us know more about it. Every child has the right to play games every day. The time 4 p.m to 6 p.m. every evening is children's playtime. In this time, children should not go for tuitions or do homework but should play games. We become active, strong and healthy when we play games. Playing games helps us in many ways. The blood circulation inside our body gets better. The impurities present in our body come out through sweat. Our body becomes free from stress and strain. Games help us in maintaining friendly relations with others. In school, we shouldn't miss the sports period. We should play games under the teacher's guidance. We must always use the playing materials that are given in the school. Everyone should participate in sports competitions to improve their sporting skills. In the evening, we should take bath after playing games. After playing for some time, we must study and do the household work. With this, we become active and we can improve our grasping power. Now, it's time to know the various advantages of playing games. There are various advantages of playing games. The people who regularly play will be always active and healthy. By playing games, people develop the values like sportsmanship, team spirit, group work. Games also help us improve our concentration, determination, etc. Do you know, in the year 2010, our Indian cricket team won the World Cup title and our Kabaddi team won the gold medal. Many players and athletes of our country like Karanam Malleshwari, Saina Nehwal, Maricom, Leander Pace, Gagan Narang and Vijender Singh participated in Olympics and won many medals. With such players, the popularity of our country increases and we, the Indians, get noticed all over the world. Not only the players, but their families, states, country get a good name and fame. Here, we will do an activity of identifying the photos of some famous Indian sportspersons. Drag and drop the respective image onto the respective box. Keywords. List of keywords are shown on the screen. 
Summary Let us recap the highlights of this chapter. Before playing any game, we need to know the rules of the games. Each game has certain rules which ought to be followed. Just like in games, our school, home and other places also have certain rules and regulations. In our country, there are many sportsmen and sportswomen who made our country proud with their achievements. Sportsman spirit is accepting victory and defeat equally. Every child has the right to play games every day. We become active, strong and healthy when we play games. In the evening, we should take bath after playing games. After playing for some time, we must study and do the household work. With this, we become active and we can improve our grasping power. By playing games, people develop the values like sportsmanship, team spirit, group work. Improve your learning. Read the questions and attempt the answers on your own. You can click answer for your reference. Follow-up work. Take a white chart, draw a table as shown below and write the names of games you like. Write how those games are played and what are the rules that are followed to play those games. Observe any game played at your street or school which you do not know. Write the procedure of the game in order. Collect information on any five prominent sportsmen or sportswomen of our state or the country. Draw the coat of any game you play outside on a chart. Mark the measurements. Write the names. Describe. Some schools and some families are keeping the children away from games because they think children who play games become backward in studies. How far is this correct? What is your opinion on this? Write down on a piece of paper. Test your understanding of the chapter by taking the mock unit test. You have successfully completed the chapter different games and rules.